Well, it certainly has been an active year for severe weather across uh, western and central Wyoming. Looks like another chance as we head toward this afternoon and evening. Overall severe weather outlook, you can see this yellow area. That's a slight risk of severe weather. It doesn't sound like much. We only get a couple of these a year, though, so it's fairly notable. Basically, anywhere from, say, a level down towards, say, Thermopolis, down toward Rollins, down to the east line there. And then we have a marginal risk. This is narrow green, darker green area, I should say, here. And extending up here towards the Cody area, back toward Yellowstone. But just about anybody can see a pop-up thunderstorm during the afternoon and evening hours today. Maybe a couple of morning ones, too, down here across southern Sweetwater County. Now, the three main threats when you think of when you think of severe weather, tornadoes, large hail, and also damaging winds. So start by taking a look at tornadoes. That'll be the least threat today. About a 2% chance of what the storm prediction center is calling for, basically across that slight risk area. That'll be by far the least of our threats. You want to pick out an area where the biggest threat will be. Probably the further north and east you go. So Johnson County, maybe uh, Fortress of Bighorn County. A little more moisture up in here, so the uh, thunderstorm uh, bases will be a little bit lower, so easily more easy for a funnel maybe to drop down and form a tornado. Now the other two threats are damaging winds and hail. About an equal threat, I think, is seeing both of those. We'll start by looking at hail. I want you to notice we have what's called a hatched area here. You can see this area right in here with the lines going through it. That's a risk of uh, significant hail, what is defined as two inches or bigger in diameter. So a little bigger than the golf ball or bigger than that. So that hits your air, hits your car. That could really ruin your day. It could cause structural damage to things as well. Best chance of that, again, Johnson County, also the Toronto County. Less of a chance as you head further to the east, especially down here. Not much of a threat of hail down in this area. And the other threat, that's going to be uh, damaging wind. I click forward, there it goes. Again, pretty much follows the slight risk area as well as the um, marginal risk area. I want to note this as well, though. Just about anybody gets a shower or thunderstorm can see a damaging wind gust, especially down in this area. It's going to be very dry up in here. You get those high base showers and thunderstorms, and when those collapse, any of those could put out a strong wind gust. So if you see a shower or thunderstorm, especially one with no precipitation reaching the ground, you could have a strong wind gust out of that, so keep an eye on that. So as we summarize everything, here we go. Uh, thunderstorms begin developing this afternoon, spreading eastward through the afternoon and evening hours. And the best chance, heat beginning of the day is when it usually is, between about 3 o'clock and about 10 o'clock. Uh, Johnson County is the best chance of seeing severe weather, is usually the case here, followed by the Bighorn Basin and the Trona County, especially once you get north of Casper. All areas east of I could have a chance of seeing a strong to severe thunderstorm, though. So individual risk as we break this down. The one wind, the main threat across central Wyoming, places like Riverden, maybe on to the south and west. Best chance of large hail, northern Wyoming and the Toronto County, that includes Johnson County as well as Bighorn County, Washakie as well. The best chance of a tornado, I think, mainly Johnson County, northern Toronto you can throw in there, as well as Bighorn County. Now a few safety tips I want to go over here. Helpful hints here, watch and warning, I know this confuses some people. If a watch is issued, it means be prepared. Severe weather is possible in your area. If a warning is issued, that means it's been sighted. So take action with that, either been sighted by a spotter or indicated by radar. So. Have multiple ways to get those uh, warnings, radio, TV, cell phone, etc. And if severe weather does approach, try to get into a sturdy building and stay away from windows. I know you like to watch it. I'm a meteorologist. I'm guilty of watching it sometimes. That's not the smartest thing to do. Another thing I want to emphasize here, some people talk about this, do not rely on sirens. Sirens are made for outdoor activities. So if you're in your house, you say, I didn't hear the siren. It's not designed for indoor use. It's designed for outdoor use. So have multiple ways to get the warnings. Do not rely on sirens. And that's our briefing for today. Enjoy the rest of your day.